all rise. America's privacy and freedom versus the U.S. government. If you have a government that claims to be for the people, then, then like uh, secrets in the interest of national security are kind of like an oxymoron. A group of New York activists come together in reaction to the NSA spying scandal that shook America to the core. Can we tolerate letting these same people who regard merely telling the truth as a capital offense to steal everything there is to steal about our lives, our thoughts, and our feelings. They say now is the time to act out against the abuses of power carried out by America's government, including the unmet promises to close down the Guantanamo Bay detention facility and what they call the war against whistleblowers in America. We're certainly seeing an escalation of the government's response in uh, terms of social control as well as uh, persecution of people who are speaking out against the system, speaking truth to power. These Americans are demanding that U.S. officials keep their hands off Edward Snowden, the 20 29-year-old former CIA contractor who revealed the NSA surveillance program that collected phone call metadata of a sweeping number of people and spied on searches, emails and file transfers through its PRISM program. It's not only the citizens of the United States, it's billions and billions of people who are having all their data vacuumed up by the National Security Administration and, and whatever other agencies and programs have not been revealed yet. Snowden is currently hiding in Hong Kong, hoping to get asylum in Iceland. And while the spying revelation he exposed was shocking, some still go about business as usual. Do you know who Edward Snowden is? No. Still, enough people believe what Snowden did should have been done by the media a long time ago. He didn't reveal anything um, as a spy or a prankster or uh, anything. It, he's, he's really press. He's really newspaper. A growing number of Americans... I am Bradley Manning. I am Bradley Manning. Bradley Manning. Bradley ...are also demanding fair treatment of 25-year-old Army Private Bradley Manning, currently on trial for leaking classified documents to WikiLeaks, now facing up to life behind bars. The Obama administration has uh, prosecuted more people for the Esp Espionage Act than all the previous presidential administrations combined, and that's just horrifying. Many see it as no coincidence that the NSA documents were leaked at the start of the Bradley Manning trial. When you speak truth to power, there's a very heavy price to be paid in this country. Activists say the so-called war against whistleblowers is on par with the abuses happening at Guantanamo, where a hunger strike of over 100 detainees has been going on for more than four months. I will not eat until they restore my dignity. I've been detained at Guantanamo for 11 years and three months. I've never been charged with any crime. While the U.S. government tries to convince Americans that mass spying is done in the name of the good and should be considered the new norm, and that places like Guantanamo exist to benefit national security, it's people like Manning and Snowden, as well as their supporters behind these walls and throughout the world, who continue to defy the system and fight back the only way they believe is right. Anastasia Churkina, RT, New York.